Hello and welcome. Today I'll be doing a shave and talking about this guy here. This is one of the razors that I cleaned up and already shared with y'all. And I'll be giving it away. This was the one that was just completely covered on the bottom. I'll upload no more pictures of it on Instagram. I'm going to be shaving with Speakeasy. Today I'm meeting up with my mom and a few other relatives. For lunch at Sizzler. You can give me some steak and clam chowder going. So I'll be using the, the set of that and I might even top it off with the star jelly and the EDP and DO. Um, Pre-shave, I've already applied that. I've already whipped up my lather using Bomb Jeffrey is what I believe Bobby named this guy from Sawdust Creations. It is a dye stabilized oak burl. I've already got my lather made. Let's get to shaving. I thought today I'd use two blades that I shared yesterday on Instagram. One being the original Gillette Menorah that they put out right after the takeover of the Canadian company. That was simply called the Menorah Blade Company or Blade Co. or something is what they called it. I have that in my 6C. It's platinum coated and it is by far one of my most favorite blades ever. This is my first shave video. This is the other blade I'm using. I have it loaded in my 6C. It's the newest version of the menorah by Gillette. The box says stainless. And that really doesn't mean anything. It does have a PTFE coating. Uh, most of your stainless blades today simply just say stainless. And that doesn't mean that they don't have a coating. It just means that they're stuck in the old ways. This is my first time shaving on video. And I'm actually looking at my phone screen. This Sunday, February 20th, I will be on Splay Time with Jeff and Ken, who are the vintage, mostly vintage head shaver. And Jeff is Jeff Atomic Anders or something like that. It's his handle on uh, Instagram. But Splay Time is an Instagram channel, for those who don't know. Um, that interviews what shavers, so now I'm using the yellow box in my 6C. Uh, plate 4 on both. So, Splay Time. The newer show came out just before Christmas this past year, if I recall correctly. Bi-weekly right now. And they interview wet shavers and something that's super cool about that format that they do is everybody shaves during the interview. Um, so Jeff and Ken will be shaving with whatever they decide to bring. I think we're kind of going with a, um, a vintage theme because my whole throwbacks and Ken is also a... Um, Vintage collector. I haven't decided which razor I'll be bringing yet. I think I'm going to use my uh, Seagull. It's getting a little dry here. I'm going to use my Seagull with a modified blade. I do have a box of uh, vintage Seagulls, but uh, I'm going to modify probably. A platinum coated modern blade. I haven't decided which one yet. Maybe a big platinum. There's a few that I like in my seagull blade. And so if you do follow my Instagram, you know that I restore vintage razors 
the only thing I don't do is replate them. It's just not something that I wanted to commit myself to yet. And I started doing that right about 10 years ago now or so. And I started out slow and modestly, like most guys do, you know, with, when you get into this hobby. Um, I shared a little bit of it on shave line, but uh, I was gifted my first DE razor from my mom, who I'm eating today for lunch, like I mentioned. And one of her favorite fragrances that I wear is Speakeasy. And so that is why I chose to go with this. I'm a proud mama's boy. I love my mama. There's nothing I wouldn't do for her. And when she says, you want to meet me at Sizzler? I say, oh, hell yeah. I'll be there. You tell me what time. And so my mom gave me my first razor. I've always been into collecting old stuff. Always. Um, I've always been into collecting, period. And uh, started out with baseball cards, and then that led to comics. And so she bought it for me just because she knew I liked old things. And she brought home this beat up slim one day and it sat around for the longest time. It was just a conversation piece that I show to people from time to time. And then my wife and I, who she also appreciates things from times gone by, um, We went out antiquing here locally. I live in Oregon and uh, found this 1969 black handle Gillette Super Speed and uh, it was in great condition. It was in better condition then than it is now. And that's because I hurt the handle a little bit you know, it's a learning process doing all this and uh i've definitely done my fair share of destruction i know if i come across a little awkward again this is my first time shaving on video i wanted to get this out of the way before I went and did it with Jeff and Ken uh, on their show. And I wanted to finally get around to giving away this flare tip that I've been talking about for a month or two now. Father of three kids. Am I rambling? Maybe I'm rambling. And things just get busy. And pushed to the side, forgotten about, and there's always those, I'll get around to it someday, you know, things. The pink menorah platinum is definitely smoother. I'd say they're both equally as sharp. Um, I'm just going to do a couple cleanups now um, under my chin. So I was saying about restoration before I rambled on and scattered brain to something else. As I've been doing it for close to 10 years, kind of, sort of. The last three years, I really stepped up my game when it comes to the amount that I do. Before that, it was just for my own collection, and then I started doing it as gifts. And that led us to where we were eventually at the beginning of the pandemic, and I was furloughed from my job and needed something to do with my time. And so I had hundreds of razors already to begin with that I just buy and uh, Got my hands on a few more just before the pandemic, and then the pandemic hit, and I was like, man, what do I do? So I started cleaning up a whole bunch of razors and restoring them, 
and June of 2020, I started my eBay for the first time. Before that, I'd never even purchased anything off of eBay. I just had no interest or anything like that. Um, let me pause real quick while I rinse my face. All right, I'm back. So what I was saying about razors, uh, restoring vintage razors that led me to the pandemic. And then from there, it grew. Um, started my Instagram for Tobin's Throwbacks last February. So exactly just about a year ago to the day, not quite. Um, I think I'm just gonna do the star jelly for time, guys. Um, so I started the eBay and uh, it was way more successful than I could have ever dreamed of. Uh, it just blew me away, actually. And I'm still humbled and honored and feel extremely blessed by the amount of sales and everything that's gone on through eBay. My good friend Clinton, who's now gone, he uh, encouraged me to create an Instagram and a YouTube. I created the Instagram. Last May he passed away and he was always pushing me to do a YouTube channel. Um, as time went by, I had other people asking me if I'd share some videos on how I do restorations and yada yada and uh so that led me to these razors that I'm talking about here and that we're giving the flare tip away in 1956 that led me to doing the videos that you may have seen uh on Instagram or here on YouTube maybe you've already seen the videos but that's what led me to it was just people asking me i didn't want you know something i've always wanted i hate redundancy and so i wanted to avoid redundancy um any way possible right and so i never wear my beard in a ponytail by the way just when i'm shaving so i didn't really ever feel like there was a need for me to put out the the videos because i'm a huge fan of matt prasarsic and a few other guys who own you know big real companies like Anti Katura. Uh, they do amazing work. If you're in Europe, I highly recommend them. Um, and so there's already content out there, but I was, you know, asked again and again. So that eventually I'm like, okay, between Clinton and everything else, I'm going to make these videos. So I made those videos. And also here we are today with this giveaway. All I ask is that in the comments below, you say I'm in. It'd be nice if you'd subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. But just comment, I'm in. That's the only thing I request. I'll put this on Instagram so that those who follow me can come and find it. I hope I did all right with this first shave video. Um, felt good. Both razors did an amazing job. I've never noticed any difference between the 6C and the 6S. I bought the 6C when they first came out and uh, loved it. About a year later, I picked up the 6S, um, just because. I have a lot of reasons are just because, I'm sure you probably do too. So thanks for checking out my video, if you made it this far. I appreciate it. Comment, I'm in, and have a great day.